Hey guys, what's going on? This is Atharva here and in this video, we're going to look at Polar. Polar is a payment processing platform, which is also a merchant on record, which is a stripe behind the hood and which is pretty easy to use, has comically good developer experience. And in this video, we're going to see how easy it is to integrate Polar into your Next.js application. This video is of course not sponsored and I just like how easy it is to integrate payments using Polar. So it's going to be a very quick video because they made it so easy to integrate payments. So in this video, we're just going to see how easy it is, go through a documentation and stuff, go through our guides and stuff and see. So yeah, let's get started. All right. So we are on polar.sh, the website, and you can see payment infrastructure for the 21st century, the modern way to sell your SaaS and digital products. Sell with six lines of code and it's pretty easy. And uh, you just see the polar.checkouts.custom.create just part, provide the product ID, success URL and just redirect to a success URL. And then you can also have benefits like license keys. You can automatically distribute license keys, digital downloads, automatically give GitHub repository access, Discord server access and custom benefits and stuff. And it also has the benefits of merchant of record. I will just leave it here for you to read and understand, but we are here for the developer experience part of it. So what we, we are going to do is go to the docs, getting started. Or oh, there is also very good integration guides one. So there are framework guide for next JS. It says the init command the last time I tried didn't work, but uh, if, even if you do it manually, it's pretty quick. Just install the SDKs, just add the access token in the environment variables. Just initiate the API client and fetch the products and stuff. And then the easiest part is like creating a checkout URL. So just create a route and then pass in the checkout function, which will create an URL uh, on your app, which will redirect it to checkout, which is pretty handy. And yeah, this is pretty good. So we are going to try this out and see how this works. I'm going to keep this guide open, but what I'm going to go is create a new tab. I'm going to say sandbox dot polar research. This is the test version of Polar where you can actually test your changes and stuff. So I already have created an organization which is called as a new org. And here we are going to create a new product. I'm going to call it sub tier one. And I'm going to keep it like a subscription, monthly subscription, a fixed price of I guess 10. And yeah, that's it. Not going to have any benefits right now. If you want, you can add those. Feel free to do that those are going to make your life much more easier and uh, now it says that the product was created i'm going to create one more so sub tier 2 this is going to be 50 dollars so i'm just gonna keep it to 50 dollars oops here yeah. create product perfect now i'm gonna go to settings and we are going to have the access token here somewhere. We need to create a new token. So I'm just going to uh, say test token. I'm going to revoke this token as soon as the video ends. Anyways, it's a sandbox environment. So nobody really cares, but uh, it's always a very good practice to remove your access tokens of once you publish a video. So I'm just going to select all um, and just create the token. I'm just going to copy the token. Now let's go to a terminal. I already have the command ready to, to create a new Next.js application. So I'm just going to leave everything to defaults. Let's wait. Now we are going to go to polar test and here we are going to first of all install packages. So bun I polar sh slash SDK and then polar sh slash nextjs other than that we are going to create a new file called as dot env dot local and now we are gonna do cursor dot to open our code editor let's get this to full screen just bear with me my laptop is really struggling hard with me recording now i'm just gonna say polar access token no need to worry because this does not have the next public behind so this is never going to get leaked even if you use it in weird files so now what we are going to do is first of all, we are going to create a new folder called as lib and we are going to uh, initialize the SDK. So it takes a lot of time to even create a 
folder here anyways and lib we are going to create a new folder called as polar.ts and here we are going to say export const api is equal to new polar just to work already okay you don't want to import it we will import it anyways import not polar bookshelf api what are you doing we want it from uh, sdk yeah it's not an api key it's access token and then uh, polar access token and then we need to set the server to sandbox make sure you do this or else you are going to do everything on the live session which sucks <laughs> then we're going to have a new route called as checkout route so i'm going to create a new folder here called as checkout and just look at the how how easy is it is going to be so i'm just going to say route dot ts and here we are going to basically have uh, a new route const uh, okay export const get is equal to checkout that's it and now we just need to pass in the environment variables and stuff again so access token and then you need to pass in success url and stuff so i'm just gonna rename it to just only success and the server should be sandbox and now let's just create a new success page and here uh, we're just gonna have the search params and checkout id and stuff so i'm gonna create a new page dot tsx and it's going to paste this so this is going to be react server component so you will get the checkout id and then you can do some checks and stuff uh, but you should basically rely on the webhook as well so yeah now that is done now we can simply go to the root page and we can do our thing so i'm just going to remove everything here we don't need any of that i'm gonna set this to max width 7xl mx auto md10 and then we need to create a grid so no not right here but okay first of all let's just fetch the products so i'm just gonna do const products if is equal to await api dot api dot products dot list and we don't want archived stuff we only want active products so now we can simply do products dot map what's wrong why can't we have the products here oh most likely it's result dot items dot map and now we can simply have product and now what we want to do is we're going to have a grid create a grid three in a row and now we can simply have a link here so i'm just gonna wrap this uh, in a link itself so link href and now we can simply say slash checkout slash um or we can simply say product id and now we can simply pass in the product id here product dot id and now we can also have and and uh, customer email uh, so uh, if you do this it will automatically create a customer for you so for context you need to have some kind of authentication here i'm not doing the authentication here i'm just only going to hard code the email but if you have any auth authentication make sure you have the email or customer id here or once once you create a new user in your authentication flow you create a new customer in the polar sdk as well so now this is done what i want to do is uh, save this and just go back to a browser oh i need to throw it there and now we can simply go to local 3000 oops i am yet to start the dev server great now let's try to refresh taking a long time unfortunately it has not fetched anything it seems what's happening here can we just try to console log here result items it says it's zero which i don't think is true we do have products here right so if we go to setting 
uh, or to the products page we do have the products here not really sure what it's trying to do okay yeah i am so stupid i just said that we don't want archive products and i just said is archive to <laughs> we just need to pass in false here and if you just reload this page we should be getting something so now we have sub tier 2 and sub tier 1 now we can simply just click on links like sub tier 1 and we should be redirected to the checkout page pretty soon so let's wait for it if only my laptop stops working like this something seems wrong it says invalid status code something is wrong here it says value is not an email address t.com okay so i can simply say test.com basically it does check if the email exists or not that's actually good so i'm gonna subscribe to the tier one now we get the t at test.com we are just gonna add the test details and now we can simply subscribe ten dollars a month let's wait payment successful getting your products ready waiting confirmation and now we are on the success page now if we just go to the dashboard itself and go to customers it will get reflected here so the name i just set it to 2442 for whatever reason and now we have a subscription tier the good thing is that if now if we try to uh, subscribe to tier one sorry to tier two it will not let us do that because we already have an active subscription so it's gonna say uh, if we try to like subscribe again it's gonna say that we already have an active subscription and that's why we cannot subscribe again which is really good that the only uh, one person can have only have one subscription of, co of course you can disable this option if you want to if you want a user to somehow have multiple subscriptions but uh yeah now we can simply go ahead and first of all uh just revoke the subscription for now because we want to try webhooks so cancel subscription uh just cancel immediately reason is uh, i don't know low quality i guess just cancel <laughs> I mean low quality man the web page was super low quality i won't i won't even lie now let's look at webhooks if we go in the documentation again uh docs oops docs.polar.sh if we go to next.js1 yeah we are gonna find the for the webhooks there's very simple uh thing to do so now if we just copy this need to create an api slash webhook slash polar so now we can simply create a new folder called as api slash webhook slash polar and now in the polar folder we are gonna say route.ts and just paste it now this is very good you don't even need to acknowledge any message or stuff like you don't need to return any status code or stuff everything is done already by polar for you uh you can you don't even need to have this you can simply say on on uh, subscription active i think it's active we can check here so if we go to webhook section somehow so uh, yeah new paid subscription because payment was recovered whatever okay so if we just do the subscription active we will know that you can also have subscription cancel uh subscription pause basically does not exist but yeah uh these two are something you should be listening for and we will be console logging them uh, we will also console log subscription active subscription cancel and now we will try to subscribe again but first of all we need to actually uh, do ngrock http 3000 we need to open a tunnel if you don't have ngrock installed uh, feel free to do that uh, but now we need to actually copy this and set it up in the polar webhooks so if you go to back to a dashboard uh, there should be somewhere i think it's in the settings not sure about it where do we add webhooks oh it's in here okay add in point slash api slash webhook slash polar and now payload format i guess why do i need to do this i think raw secret generate i'm just gonna copy this secret just paste it pull our webhook secret so yeah and um, we are just gonna have everything here so 
it sucks they don't have a select all button here <laughs> would really appreciate if they had it's gonna select everything of course we do not need everything but i just want to make sure that we have everything we need in a production environment you might not want to listen to everything to be honest you might just want to listen to things that are necessary but yeah the end point is now set and now if you just go back to localhost 3000 and uh, refresh the page and try to subscribe to tier 2 for example now now we will be here again and uh, now you can simply do this again and now i'm gonna click subscribe waiting for confirmation now it's a success now if we go back to our this page now we, we are now we will be able to see this so the subscription was created so now we see all of this subscription active now we have this event and now we have all of the things we need that is 50 sorry it's 50 usd uh, it's in sense that's why it's 5000 it says the recurring interval is month status is active i'm pretty sure it also gives you the email yes it does and this way you can query in your database as well i think the most ideal situation is uh, you create the customer as soon as uh, your authentication flow detects that this is a new customer and that's the most ideal thing you could do but yeah since this is a test environment we are not implementing authentication this is good this works so yeah this is the webhook now i'm gonna try to cancel the subscription and see if this works or not so just go to customers um now there should be an active subscription view now we should be able to cancel this and just immediately cancellation reason too complicated this time now if we just go back to a console pretty sure this is cancellation one let's just check yeah it says subscription cancelled okay so i'm not really sure if subscription cancelled means that it's cancelled cancelled so like if it's until the end of the billing period i think the one you should be listening to when it's cancelled is subscription revoked uh sent when a subscription is revoked and the user loses ac uh, access immediately happens when the subscription is cancelled or the payment is passed to you so this is the correct one which we should be using and not the cancelled one because a user can cancel your subscription bus but it still could mean that the user could have access to it until their billing period is ended and uh removing the access by then would be pretty much a scam and they would call you out for that so on subscription revoke would be the best thing you should be doing so yeah you don't need to pay uh, in ideal cases what you need to do is you just need to make database calls here and just update your database and provision your users with whatever benefits they have and stuff so yeah that's it so yeah that's it for this video i hope you guys got some value and learned how you can use polar to integrate with next.js and make payments super easy and you don't need to worry about a lot of things so yeah that's it uh, if you like the video make sure you hit the like button hit the subscribe button and leave a comment below on what do you think is the best thing about polar and how, if you liked it or not or if you have any content suggestions for me to cover uh, just leave that stuff in the comment below and i will be happy to cover those content in the future so yeah that's it for this video i hope to see you guys in the next video bye